All right. Time for a Shaco game. I will be playing against the Lilia here, which can be a bit annoying, I suppose, matchup wise, due to her kite, uh, kite uh, capabilities, I suppose. But she does have Dark Harvest, which is nice, because Conqueror would have been slightly worse, I think. But yeah. So we're just going to play some boxes here. We're going to start on Blue Clear down. I think there's a very high likelihood I'm going to be able to do something towards bot side more so than towards top. At uh, a 2v2 on top, we're most likely going to lose, so I'm trying to avoid that one at all costs, essentially. And to see if I can go like bolt, I might be able to transition through mid as well in this situation. My bolt lanes should be pretty safe because I have a Lucian bolt. Any mid should have priority for the most part. So, yeah, it should be uh, pretty good. Try to get as many backstabs off of Shaco as possible. Just smite this whenever it gets low enough because you have the boxes planted for your Grom, basically. There we go. Good. Place one more here. Keep backstabbing it as much as possible. Always damage increase for Shaco. At the elo of this game, we are talking about high platinum, so you are aware. And yeah. For Shaco, there will be a build explanation in the description below. Uh, you can check the Patreon for additional content as well. Coaching content, whatever that type of deal, you know. Uh, so yeah, be sure to check that out if you want to. But I'll also be explaining the AP Shaco build variation as well. Be good enough to the box no options mid not gonna run top here botlane is sadly pushing it very very far so i guess we are locked into a full clear here i'm a little bit sniffly as well excuse me hay fever is a thing sadly for me at least okay, so botlane might start pushing back a bit more now i'm gonna start hitting the small ones here because of the pet interaction It's not an option yet. Bot lane still getting shoved in. Uh, it looks like, like it just looks like a clear angle to me right here. Oh, there is Lilia. Just instantly run run there right now. She hasn't done her blue yet. Is something big to note right now. So we can just aggressively walk into her jungle at the moment. Oh, my bot lane just rolled. See if I can walk up to this guy. That's... Am I gonna survive that one? I am. Okay, good. I'll take a double kill. I genuinely don't think I'd be able to outrun her there, and just killing her there is super good for me on anyway, so I'll happily take that trade. I do give her a double buff, but I don't think it matters that much. I'm also gonna... She started topside, so I'm gonna go here, because what I think she's gonna do, because she didn't clear her blue, is I think she's gonna run out of base down this way. Still clear her blue. So I can get top scuttle here and then catch the respawn of her Krugs. And the respawn of her raptors potentially as well. So I'll have an advantage that way. Plus I got a Dirk reset here, which is obviously really good. Yeah, this way we're just going to go into the scuttle right now. And then we instantly move. See, maybe a top gank could be possible here as well. But we're going to move towards her. Um... That's unfortunate. We're going to move towards her Krugs here. Because I think she ran down. They know I'm here now because I cleared that ward, but it shouldn't be an issue because I could just still do this. Renekton's probably going to have recalled anyway. And this camp should be here, as you can see, respawned all the way. So we just go for this now. I'm not going to smite this if I don't have to. She is not going to show right now, and I think the more contestant cap would be Raptor, so I'd hold my smite for that. In this situation. There he goes. Good. And we're just going to walk out of Raptor camp now. So we know, like again, we assume she's bot lane due to that blue buff she didn't have, right? She ran for the bot lane gank very early on. So it makes a lot of sense for her to be doing that. I'm gonna smite this right here. I'm gonna hop over the wall, and he gets the stun here, and this guy should be dead. I barely didn't get him in time. Put this down. Kind of hope she just clears the wave here. And he doesn't have TP though, I guess. But this is good, like, you saw it, like, I took a lot of her stuff, right? Uh, while she went for that blue buff situation. Ah, eat that one, otherwise I don't get it. I'll leave the rest of that. And then we spam ping this, because we saw Lilia walk towards topside somewhere. Gonna have to hit the plant, because this guy's not warding. I don't want him to die. 
I, I just bet he doesn't die to this. I don't want to go in on that. I'm half HP, my guy. I, I don't want to go in on that because I'm half HP, half mana. And it just wouldn't be a good time for me, right? You can see right now, right? I got such a colossal advantage because of the blue realization and thinking she walked back down the bot lane. So now I'm two of her leveled up camps up on her and I still have all of my jungle camps to take as well, which is a colossal advantage. So this is looking quite good for me right now. I am going to do my Raptors here with potential of just leaving these because they're still a level one camp, so they don't take a high priority because I've never cleared them on the first rotation. Uh, but that Scuttle respawn is looking pretty, pretty scrumptious, if you know what I mean. But I'm going to definitely look at that uh, with my blue buff here as well. Potentially a mid transition gank here because Annie just hit six. I might be able to uh, walk at this Syndra right here. There he goes. Good. Oh, and he didn't have a stun? Let's do that, I guess. Hopefully that works. Uh, kill here. That's a good box. And that's a good kill. Ah, my Annie didn't have a stun for Syndra, really? That sucks. Okay, good. That well, clears the wave. Should be fine. Yeah, it, it just kind of sucks. I, I was really hoping Annie would have a stun for that. That would be really good. Okay, I can't kill him, obviously, because I am literally 1 HP. But I can take this Scuttle here. I'm just going to smite that because I have an extra smite to go. Maybe with a plant healing here I have a chance, but I do have quite a fair amount of gold. So I have to be a little bit careful here still. There's no way he's going to walk this way. Ah, that's a cannon bomb. Touch. Dude, this Yas, this Yone is on drugs. He counter or he picked Yone into Renekton as well, and he's he's crying about stuff. That's crazy, you know. That's just one of those. Like I got the mid lane gank and everything. I'm destroying Lilia, but still crying about stuff. It is what it is. He thinks it's the main protagonist or something, or the main uh, main character in uh, in this game or something. Is what it is. You cannot afford to pick Yone into Renekton and expect like that to be fine, you know. Ooh, right here. I think the Rift Herald's actually an angle. Like, before I reset. Because I think Lilia's gonna be probably around bot here, most likely. If I just rush this down, it should be fine. I'm gonna place a box right there for some bit, a bit of defensiveness. What is Her Herald? Look at this. What is it resetting for? Hello? You're in the pit, my guy. I'm just gonna have to drag it down here. Otherwise, it's gonna reset or something. What is it? Okay, I'm just gonna ult for this now, because... I am gonna that herald resetting action is gonna destroy me right now. I'm already know I already know this. I hope she doesn't check this. I really hope she doesn't. I call I lost a lot of time. Yep, there it is. Oh, I'm so sad. I'm gonna have to pick this up anyway, please. Thank you. Oh, that's a shutdown as well. Stupid, stupid riot games, man. What is that resetting action? Like I can't play with the herald resetting in the backside of the pit. What is going on? Ah. Oh. All right, fine. That's absolutely sucks for me, but that's really good for Lilia. Damn. Has been slain. I mean, I have to pick up Herald there because the Herald's still super worth it. Uh, like, even for the death, even if I give her a shutdown, it shouldn't have happened because the Herald should have died before she even got there. And I should have been completely fine. But because of the reset backside pit and it just kept resetting bar aggro if I walked up, I would never get enough clear speed on that thing if I don't drag it down first and wait it out, which is absolutely disgusting. That's that's literally out of my control. That's just that's just riot games. Like yeah. Oh man, I hate stuff like that. That's just so dumb. That's a colossal advantage to Lilia for absolutely no reason. Rushing collector here. I'm gonna go with the Shaco build I've been liking, which is collector essence reaver instead of like dusk blade or anything, because this actually feels really good to play. With the Collector being very strong, extra lethality now as well, you know. Yeah, whatever. I have to live with that Dragon situation. I still got the Herald, so it'd still be kind of hope, kind of decent, I hope. It's gonna go for bot lane here, I think. If I can. My Annie is rotating down here as well. Kogmar is getting engaged on, so this should be super free. Yeah, nothing. Okay, fine. This is Dragon then. With that kills right with those kills right there, it's gonna be a free dragon for us. 
I'm gonna place the box up here in case Lilia walks into it. So that will help a little. Oh, yeah, we're gonna go for that. If anyone wants to go for this, I'm happy to do this. Please flash any. Please flash any. Thank you. I was hoping she'd flash for that faster, but, you know. Lucian comes to help for this, this is free. That was a good move there by Annie, going for that, uh, seeing the, the situation there and walking up with me towards Lilia, which is good. I, I I don't know, Lilia, I guess, didn't have flash, so I guess it didn't really matter, but I was hoping she would just flash the wall there and go for it. She does have flash ult now, so we might be able to look mid here. A bit Could be wasting my time, though. This is a free kill. Good, perfect. Don't want to take her cannon from her. We're just going to push in mid turret here. Yo, hello. Uh, it's fine. I'll put the Herald down anyway. Might as well. Get the turret, get the turret plates on mid lane here as much as possible. Look at her right now, right? Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to assume she's going to move up to her Raptors soon there it is so we're gonna walk over here pop the sweeping drink it pop this down and wait ah you you sneaky rat airplane she's gonna be patient she's gonna go for a raptors anyway she's gonna assume i've left at this point that should kill her i have collector right surely thank you all right good beautiful She's, she, I was assuming she would have assumed I left. That sentence might not make any sense, but I guess you know what I mean. Uh, top Scuttle should be here. Renekton could definitely mess me up on this, so I have to be a little bit careful. But I am Shaco, so I should be fine for the most part, right? Beautiful. Pick all this up. I need... Do I have enough money for Essence Reaver in one go? Essence Reaver 2900 with Futures Market. It's about 28 maybe. I can clear my top side camps and then reset. Lucian's doing well. That's beautiful stuff. I mean, I've absolutely demolished this Lilia with just an early pathing situation, right? As well. That's really good, too. Do this. I'll do my Gromp. I'll do my blue buff. I'm very, still very sad about that one death. Like, the, the death on Rift Herald is absolutely super lucky for Lilia. Otherwise, she would have been, it's like, completely doomed this game. And we have one minute on that Rift Herald. If I do this and I can reset for Essence Reaver, which is going to make me unbelievably strong. And then I just have a free Herald out of base, essentially, which is what I'm going to go for, for sure. Renekton seems to have teleported bot lane. I think my, my, I should reset here for this Rift Herald play, so that's what I'm going to do. It's 2,900 gold, it's a lot of gold. Essence Reaver is a very strong item to be able to pick up right here. The reason I'm not going Infinity at second, by the way, I should pick up a Control Ward here, actually. Um, the reason I'm not doing that is because Infinity Edge really only shines after, like, the 40%. Like, if, if you hit 60% crit, most of your things are going to crit, right? And the Essence Reaver is super high value for how, how cheap it is, essentially. Uh, so I really like the Collector Essence Reaver type of setup. And I'm rushing Collector because it executes people and gives me additional gold tempo, which is really good. We're going to run up here, see if we can do something about the Skokmar, because they apparently swapped out. He's dead. He's dead as well. Perfect. Very nice. And now we see the 16 second respawn on the Rift Herald that I'm going to be playing for Lilia. It's also bot side. So we just insta rush this down. Place some defensiveness here. I'm going to place a control art just to be safe because I don't have a sweeping trinket now. Like these are situations what I use my control art for, right? Like I use it when I don't have a sweeping trinket for an objective. That's the only thing. Maybe some deep vision in the enemy jungle can be good as well. I'm going to place the one box over here. So I have some uh, potential vision to check. Look at that bar, man. I hate this so much. Riot needs to fix that as soon as possible. This is the most frustrating thing ever. I have to make... I have to avoid it from being in the backside of the pit. Let's pick that up. And I'm just gonna instantly going to reset. Go for my bot side camps and a dragon respawn. I have no other times to do anything else here. We take this. And then we go for the... I don't have any money. I, the rest of my money is just going to be saved. Because I'm going to go infinity as next item. So my build's basically going to be infinity as next item. And then after that, I'm going to take uh, Bloodthirster. 
That'd be the perfect item slot for Bloodthirster as well. Doing really well here. I mean, I would have been doing amazing here if not for that stupid Rift Herald death where she got my shutdown. Because that saved her ass so badly, but... I guess I should, be st should stop talking about that one, maybe. I don't know. It feels so awful, though. I have so much damage right now. I don't... Three red. I do really want to go for this dragon here. That's like my main priority right now. Missed. Right, I'll close that one. I have the uh, my my clone just running at this guy. If my clone dies or something, they can they're gonna get feared anyway. I really want to get this turret down if possible, but I'm gonna play some boxes here defensively if they do want to go in on something, you know. Play with my Amumu here if he wants to go for something. Place a box here. Do you not kind of walk into me here? Really? I'm just going to do Dragon then. It's taking too long at this point. I'm assuming she just walks away, so I definitely just go for this. I was hoping she maybe go this way, assuming like I go Dragon or something, you know? I need to try to stand on the backside of this as much as possible, at least. Good. There is a Senna there. I'm going to try to walk at because she maybe go walks forward here. She doesn't actually. Okay. Place the box there. Have some defensiveness. I'm obviously going to try to take her camps here because we see her top side. We know her both side camps are up. So these will be mine if possible. Legendary. Kind of assuming somebody's going to walk bot lane soon for that wave. And if it's not Renekton, I just kill him. Because I don't think I kill Renekton in time. But let's be real. And seconds on this should be fine. I'm going to pull the Herald right now so the breaks the turret. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have done that, actually. Hindsight. She still break the turret, right? Yeah, okay, at least I get the turret. I was assuming we could actually have some pressure walking forward there, but my team pathed in a different way, so... I was initially planning on, like, doing the Herald behind and then it taking the turret, and then from there we can make a play happen. It just didn't w really work out the way I thought it would. With a uh, team's pathing choice there, basically. I think our top side's not contestable at the moment, so we're just gonna take the blue one. It spawns. I keep pinging it right now because uh, it's still a system people are gonna have to take into account and not are not completely used to yet. If you know what I mean. Don't have to go top there. I don't think. Uh, her rat's respawning, though. I think my Annie that I want her to come with me, if possible. I feel like there's no contest on the top fight for a little bit, at least, so I can just go for this. Find it out. Free red. Oh, don't, don't want to pick this up. I just want him to have this, basically. There is definitely something funky going on on top lane right now. I place my box in a different spot there as well and see if I can walk into this one still. That should be a death, right? Surely. There he goes. Just kind of caught a kitemite there. Please get the cannon. Thank you. Legendary. He gets that. Beautiful stuff. I'll get the top turret here because it's pretty much free and it's a bit of gold for me right now. Two minutes on a dragon, which is something I do want to play for as well. I can take this wave here for free as well, I think. I should have enough money for my infinity edge after this, which is large. Gonna make me extremely strong. Oh, don't get hit by that. That could kill me. 
finish that off. Pull up a box, then recall, so you have at least some defensive. Okay, I'm gonna play full respect here. Because I don't want to disrespect... Uh, disrespect this and die before dragon spawns. I do not want that, because that gives a free dragon. I have my Infinity Edge right here, so I'm gonna be unbelievably strong right now. I'm gonna go for this. Beautiful. Take one control ward for now. Because I could use that for like an objective or something. Uh, do I have to go mid here? I think they're fine, right? Yeah, they're definitely fine. Beautiful. Needs to take red buff right there. I will place a box over here. I don't need to, I don't need help need help with clear speed. Look at my damage output, man. This I like this is why I like this so much. Those crit hits are so large. He should be dead. Yep. Good. Beautiful. I want this dragon in 40 seconds more than anything else right now. Place the box over the wall. Place the box over the wall. So I have some vision. I'm gonna wait for a target to walk up. That'll be free for me. Okay, this guy's not that free because I actually can't reach him, sadly. Box there. 19 seconds on the dragon. I'm gonna clear that, that's fine. I'd want to go for that too much. Definitely play for Drake here. I don't want to go aggressive on that and then die right before dragon spawns. Like, having the objective cleared is, like, the most important thing ever. So we definitely go for that as a priority over taking, like, a single kill. Not worth taking the risk for something stupid like that, you know? Objective is cleared. now, So, I, so now I could potentially take that risk if I wanted to. I'll try this, maybe. See if there's an option. There is no option. cleared there's a senna here ah oh, that's annoying i'll be in the vicinity here with my boy they're pushing bot third here so this is fine we don't have to do anything right now i guess i could just go clear my camps at the moment which wouldn't be bad we don't have really have the baron do we have the baron dps for this maybe we do i'm gonna ult for this as well then just to have more damage output if I'm Mumu, like, if I think if a Mumu or the bear tanks it or my passive bone tanks it, this should be the best angle for us. Yeah, we do have a lot of damage output actually. And he does a lot more than I was expecting as well. Very nice. Free Baron. I was hoping to get my clone into the trap camp before it died, but it's fine, I suppose. Take all that. I'll take my top side here. My Lucian did die for a thousand gold, so that kind of sucks. But we did get Baron, so it's kind of good. We saw the Lilia bolt, so the call on Baron definitely wasn't bad. At all. I just was a little worried about damage, but with Shaco ult, I actually do have quite a lot of Baron damage. And we had any Tibbers thingy as well. We have an Amumu support, who generally does a lot of Baron damage anyway. So it's all kind of good. What do we see here, there? You saw a quick glimpse of it. Korkmar ran top lane, right? So we're going to use this plan right now and just run at him. There he is. Probably not warded, so he's probably just insta instantly dead. There he goes. Not worth much gold, but I'm also not going to give him any gold railing this way. I also put pressure on top side. You see literally how both we know a red just respawned. So we are going to go for that straight away. Good. And he just takes it. Okay, I guess that's sure, I guess. I don't know. Feels a little strange on that one, but whatever. Uh, I could do that, actually. Here. Oh, doesn't need it. Okay, fine. I'm just gonna walk at mid turret then, in this case. I'll let my clone die to this. It's all. It's gonna die anyway, so... Letting it walk in first, so tanks turret is good. Lucian wouldn't have walked back that far, the turret would have died, but that's, un that's again, out of my control, so I don't really mind too much. Get top turret for anyone who gets 600 gold off that. And I read here I could look for this, maybe. Mm, okay, fine. Nothing. Play some defensive boxes to play around with, potentially. Okay. 
He wants to go for the sundown. No flash? I don't... I, I mean, I guess it's not too worth it, but... Ow. Okay, chill. I am... Uh, I, I, I get the point. You have made yourself aware... Like, uh, okay, I'm, I'm leaving that situation, my boy. I'm good. I don't know if I can help him, to be honest. I am gonna die here for sure. At least I got, I got the guy in return. Ah, the, the damage was there. It was just a little too much there. Uh, the the good thing about this is though, like we do have the mid push and we don't have a dragon risk. So for me, taking that risk wasn't that big of a deal. Yes, I'm worth a big shutdown. I get that absolutely, but it still wasn't that big of a deal because I don't lose an objective for it, right? If it, it was a bigger objective threat, then I would have gone like I would not have gone in on this at all ever. There would have been no dimension where I would have made that play because it would have just been completely griefed. Because I would then give a dragon that I don't want to give. Just five men for the soul and we should be good. I could consider picking up a red bolt here. I don't think that would be a bad play. It's a soul fight. It makes a lot of sense to do this. Oh wait, actually I can't. Uh, the any can't pick up the, the thing because the, the second one is always for the jungler. I, I was about to think Annie walks into that one once again, like she took it from Lucian, but... Oh my god, you rat. He just... Uh, mate, mate. He walked up so far. I think he actually just give dra gave Dragon away there. Like, genuinely speaking, I think he gave Dragon away. That sucks. So bad, actually. I mean, I'm still worth a shutdown, so this still sucks. You have built I I okay, and he got it, that's good. I just couldn't get out. Enemy double kill. Aced. An enemy has been slain. I, he literally the worst play you could possibly make in any universe is walking up that far with your team in base and the dragon respawning soon. The enemy team just got to collapse. I don't know. He is out of his mind. Anyway, we still got the dragon and he was able to take it there, which is nice. Thankfully. It's worth suiciding for the Drake soul still. So I would attempt it. If you know what I mean, it'd be fine. But yeah. If Lucian didn't hard troll that, that would have been completely fine. He's hard trolling once again. This Lucian is literally just purposely losing the game at this point. Like, literally that simple. She just need, He just needs to not walk up and play with the team, and it's completely free. I'm gonna have to do this. Oh, he is very tanky. Get off. I beg this Lucian plays for the team fight one time instead of doing what he's doing right now. He's, he's solo died twice like that now. Really bad. Oh, you are kidding me. That plant hit timing is absolutely disgusting. Holy moly. I just have to wait for Lucian. We, we literally have to wait for Lucian. Kind of hoping the enemy team makes some type of mistake. That is punishable. It's not punishable. It would be if my uh, positioning on my Annie and Amumu was better, but it's not. It's just stepping too far back. Amumu just has flash shield, so he needs to use it. Lucian walked back to the Raptor camp. You are a maniac. Good, that's a good kill at least be careful here not to walk up to that one play slow he's dead well, we could probably end off that one 
This is what I mean, though. Like, as soon as we play the team fight once as an actual team and Lucian is not completely running it down, we should be completely fine. If we have any ult, we have a Mumu ult engaged. It should be completely free. But yeah, got the dragon still off that play, so it's all good. Finish this off. Gonna make sure I use my uh, Sheen procs as well with my boxes and Qs or whatever. And there is a game. But that's it for Shaco. Uh, last item here probably would have been either a Lord Dominix. Just any other crit item could work. I could get a Guardian Angel here as well, which I... Actually, Guardian Angel probably would be the move. But yeah, that's it for Shaco. I'll see you guys in the endgame stats. Alright, so for the endgame stats here, I ended up doing 20.9k damage, which is very respectable. I mean, I am, again, not the most team fight heavy champ in these... Uh, and he has a lot of AoE damage. So getting our damage all makes sense, honestly. Blue fine, all one shot damage on my end. If I get on a target, they're basically that. So yeah, good damage output regardless. Not bad at all. If you look at things like Annie, for example, or Lucian, 80 carries later on in the game are gonna do a lot. You have Lilia for AoE damage here, and then Syndra for AoE damage here, and Shaco, AD Shaco at least does completely single target damage for the most part. So having high damage stats on champs like that is gonna be more rare compared to those types of champions. In case you're wondering, uh, true damage here at 3300. We have objective damage at 45k-ish. I made sure to get all the objectives whenever I could. That Rift Herald is an absolute griefer though, because it cost me my life on the first time round because it just got in reset position or something, which is really bad. So I, I beg Riot fix that soon, because that is the most frustrating thing in the world. But yeah, sure. Uh, healing done at about 12k. Damage taken at 25k. Self-mitigated damage, not too much at 13k. Gold earned at 16.4 actually has more gold than me oh right he had first strike right that makes sense fair enough if he had first strike it makes a lot of sense actually uh, we have hill of blades i mean not too many attacks man but again you don't need too many hits if you just absolutely delete them anyway so i guess it doesn't really matter that much uh, something with hill of blades as well if you can uh, get one hit in and then just ult you're gonna your passive is gonna have the uh, or like your clone i guess is gonna have the attack speed the entire time so the impact for 800 damage, we have Relentless for movement speed, Futures Market uh, for just like gold tempo. I really like picking up Futures Market uh, on champions like Shaco and Ka and like things like Rengar, you know, things that want to buy a Dirk early game. If you can have Futures Market to basically guarantee that Dirk on your first reset, that is large. That is very, very valuable. So I do like picking that up. For the consistency of that, it might not work out. Might, sometimes you might have more gold and it might not be uh, used as much, but it's still a very solid rune to have in the first place. I do like Cosmic Insight here on Shaco because I'm running Smite and Ignite. Um, this lowers Summoner Spell cooldown, so it's going to lower your Ignite and Smite cooldown, which actually holds quite a bit of value uh, for this. So it has more kill pressure, more Ignites usable, so it's actually quite nice that way. Yeah, that's it for the rune page. And that's also it for Shaco. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to the like button below. It helps me quite a bit. If you'd like to see more videos from in the future, hit the subscribe button as well. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Bye.